think Texas and Oklahoma will will do to the league with now that that's finally upon us? Do you think there'll be disruptors, particularly? I guess everybody looks I think, at Texas. Yeah, Texas will be. I think Oklahoma maybe as a, a a half a step behind Texas, but I think the biggest culture shock for them is not going to be athletically. It's going to be culturally dealing with Alabama, mm-hmm. Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss. And Tennessee fans. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, being in the Big Twelve, being in the Southwest. I mean, they they think they know it, but I, I think this league is. It, it's a lot about the fans. It's a lot about the culture. It's a lot about the mindset. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I I think it helps though if you're really good. And Texas is extremely good. Yeah. Well, what about Oklahoma? Um, I don't know yet. Yeah. Um, I'm slightly concerned about them. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I think uh, that's another thing. What, what I'm looking forward to though is, is Texas fans infiltrating yeah. uh, the Paul Feinbaum show. I don't know if you that's show this on three to <laughs> yeah, seven. I guess, yeah. that you have had your last appearance on. Uh, <laughs> um, because I, they are go, they're, they're, we're hearing from a few of them, but they're gonna they're gonna come in right. like a bull in a china shop, and the 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 battles between Alabama fans, Ole Miss fans, that that's. I mean, they're just yeah. not barging they're into the neighborhood without uh, a few scrapes. We're we're starting to see it on ours, you know. On our I would YouTube. say twenty five percent of our audience is Texas right now. On and seventy five percent of them are fighting them as they're coming in. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. They're 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 a hungry fan base, passionate fan base, and and SEC is ready to go. Yeah, no. Totally I, with I mean, them. I I am. Um, I mean, I, I mean, we we here in the SEC. Uh, haven't made the kind of moves other leagues have made. Mm-hmm. We didn't invite Cal and Stanford. Yeah, <laughs> we, you know, we we did not. We do not have the largest number of Nobel laureates for nuclear science uh, in the SEC, <laughs> but but we do have the best fans. Yes. <laughs> so I, I know you said the culture will be big for Texas and Oklahoma, but is there anything that that you are eager to learn about those those yes. institutions? Uh, and, and I'm currently uh, we do a a series on the SEC network, which we haven't done in a couple of years, but it's called a homecoming series where I, I go and interview not non-sports people. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going back to Austin in about a week and a half to interview uh, one of the most prominent uh, people from Texas. I'll, I'll be going to Oklahoma uh, as well. So, I'm, I mean, I'm having fun with the, that side of it. Who, who, who are these people? Yeah. I mean, we know the fans. Uh, I mean, you think of the University of Texas. Okay, how many times can you see McConaughey? I yeah. Mean, a little bored with McConaughey. <laughs> uh, you know, Tennessee is a little different. You have uh, every school has its go-to, um, but there are there's more to Texas than that one guy, yeah. right? Oklahoma, you know, we just lost uh, Toby Keith was a huge Oklahoma absolutely fan, uh, and a brilliant musician. Um, there, but there are a lot of other ones too. Mm-hmm. You you must you weren't surprised at all then I would imagine how upset A and M got when Texas came into the league. I was I uh, wasn't surprised. Uh, uh, because they they felt uh, that they had been promised that A and M would never come in, and they were promised and uh, Texas would never come in. But things changed. Yeah, and 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 it's A and M's fault. You're supposed to ask why. Oh yeah, yeah why, why? Why? Yeah, I was, I was, I was thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. No, uh, <laughs> the A and M was so successful in the SEC, cousin Shane, that. Uh, Texas said, we want some of that. I mean, it really, I mean, they, Texas in 2010 was heading to the Pac-12. I mean, they had already commandeered uh, a bunch of schools because they wanted to be more aligned with the Pac-12 academics, uh, the Stanfords, Mm -hmm. the Cals, (laughs) what's now with the ACC. (laughs) Uh, And they finally realized we we need to do something. And Texas could have gone to the Big Ten, ACC. I mean, all this nonsense that we heard from, Oh well, the SEC. The SEC didn't do anything but answer a phone call uh, from yeah. their their attorneys. Answered a phone call, the same phone call that uh, that everybody else got. They were they were on the prowl. They were leaving them, and they were going to go somewhere. 